took two minutes to load. Good evening, people. Can you hear me? Can you hear me there? Good evening. Hi, Douglas. How's it going? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. And you? I'm doing good. I'm doing very good. Thanks. Uh, I appreciate it. Let me modify my name real quick. So how are you doing? Welcome to the session number three. Um, it's going fast as I see. How are you doing guys? How's it going tonight? Are you ready for our session? What's new? What's new with you? Nothing new? Mm -hmm. This day was a very busy. Busy? Busy. This day was a very busy day, huh? I imagine. I imagine. Uh, you have many activities to do at work, huh? Around. Uh, uh, for example, I have a meeting hmm. with uh, representatives. So you had a meeting today, you had many other activities. It was a busy, busy day. Okay, but um, I imagine that you are being productive, very productive for your company. Thank you for that information, Douglas. How about you guys? How are you doing today? How are you doing? Uh -huh. Anything new, anything to say, any comment? Can you say hello? Or I have only one student. I have only Douglas, Douglas Sanchez. And the other students, I don't hear you. How are you doing tonight? Hello. Hello, students. Are you there? Can you hear me? Oops. Okay, I think I have a connection issues because you cannot hear me. Um, I think only Douglas can. Can you hear me, Douglas? Can you hear me yes, okay? Sir. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you for coming to the class. Thank you for connecting to the class. I'm waiting for you to, to confirm that you are around. Let me say hello to each of you. Welcome to our session. Julio Caridad, Alex Ramirez, Maria, Monica, Karen, Laura, and Mario. Present. Okay, welcome to our session. I'm very happy to have you here with us to practice our English. Okay, well, let's um, just go over the, the attendance real quick. Okay, do we have Mr. Alex Enoch Ramirez Salazar? Present teacher. How are you, Alex? 
I'm fine, thank you. Okay, Alicia Esmeralda Romero. Carolina Stephanie Hernandez Romero. Douglas Humberto Sanchez Diaz. I am here. All right. Edgar Rolando Arias Rivas. Edith Adilia Hernandez Chacón. Welcome, Miss Edith and Edwin Alexis Rodriguez Cortez. Esmeralda Abigail Santos Amaya. Irvin Joel Moran Gonzalez. Josue Eduardo Gutierrez Salguero. Julio Cesar Caridad Valiente. Present teacher. Hey, how, what's going on? How are you, Julio? Fine, thank you. Who are you? Okay, I'm good too. I'm good too. Ready for the class? Ready to practice? Ready. I like that. Okay. Karen Elizabeth Ramos Aguilar. Presente teacher. I'm sorry, did you say present? Yes. Okay, 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 yeah. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Melendez. Present. All right, thank you. Maria Elena Linares Diaz. Present. All right. And then Mario Alberto Hernandez Vasquez. Present, de hecho. Okay, Monica Maricela Martinez Pineda is the one is the one that is hospitalized, right? Okay. So let me see. Hmm. Okay, um, Patricia Beatriz Bonilla Lopez. Ramon Antonio Scotto Abarca. Roberto Antonio Ramirez Gonzalez. Y Tatiana Vanessa Escobar Ortiz. All right, we have many people absent. We have many people absent in this um, course. Don't really know why. But anyways, today guys, we're going to study, um, we're going to study uh, how many and how much, okay? Um, first of all, um, I wanna have I want to make sure we have a clear idea of how to use them and, and why, right? Why is very important. So first of all, do you know what is a noun? Let me share my screen real quick. Do you know what is a noun, guys? Can you give me an example of a noun? I think uh, how many is for people? Um, how much is for things? Okay. How many is for people and how much is for things? Something like that. Yes. Something like that. We're going to clarify that. But first of all, my question is, what is a noun? Do you know what is a noun? Or could, can you at least give me an example? Give me an example of a noun class. Hello? 
Or you say, teacher, oh, I don't know, teacher. I don't know what is a noun. But answer me. Talk to me. Do you know what is a noun? That's the question. Hello? Hello, hello? I no? don't understand. You don't understand? Okay. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. So, noun, noun, it's anything that is, for example, an object, okay, an animal, a place, a thing, a situation. That is a noun. Okay? Okay. For example, computer. He, he is not a noun. He is a subject pronoun. So instead of he, I can use a noun, uh, which is Antonio. So Antonio is a noun. Yes? For example, a computer. Is that what you say, Douglas? Yes, a computer. A computer. And that's a singular noun. A computer. My letter U is acting out. My computer. Okay, a computer, it's a noun, yes? A computer. Can you mention another noun, please? Car. A car, Mario says a car. Okay, thank you. What else? House. A table. A house. Okay, a, a table, television. a television. Okay, now these are singular nouns. Yes, these are singular yes. nouns. Can you can yes. you tell me can you tell me plural nouns? Plural nouns because we have singular nouns. We have plural nouns. Can you tell me plural nouns? Shoes, shoes. Yes, glasses. Glasses. Come on, class. Come on, class. Plurals. Plurals. Socks. Okay. I'm sorry. Gloves. Gloves. Wait, wait, wait. Let me increase my audio here. One second. Okay. Can you repeat? Gloves. A blouse. Singular. Um, for hand, uh, gloves, guantes. Oh, gloves. Gloves. Uh -huh. Gloves. Okay, gloves. Excellent. Look, all of these are nouns. Okay. Um, and some of them, some of them are singular nouns. Yes, when they are singular nouns, we put the, the article a or an, okay? Yes. And here we have plural nouns, okay? Okay. Okay, let's do an exercise. Each of you will tell one noun. Each of you will tell one noun, okay? Let's just start with Douglas. Can you say one noun for the class? Hello, Mr. Sanchez, are you there? No? Okay, let's go with Ramon. Can you say one example? One noun, any noun. Hello? Hello? Maybe cell phones? Cell phones. Okay, plural. Cell phones. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Let's go with uh, Mario. Can you say one one um, noun, a different noun? Uh, 
ครับครับครับส์ yes like uh, this C U P S ครับส์ yes Okay, I thought you said like like police officers like cops. <laughs> okay, yes, it's correct. Cops. Okay, what about what about Canon? Do you have a noun? Pencils. Plural. Pencils. Yes. Pencils. You put the letter S. Pencils. Otherwise. The singular, a pencil. Repeat, a pencil. A pencil. A pencil. A, a, pencil. a, a pencil. A pencil. So a pencil. this is this is plural. Pencils. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Mm, okay. 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 We need more examples. We need more examples. Let's go with um. Let's see with Alex. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. What did you say? A pen. A pen. Okay, thank you. What is the plural for a pen? What is the plural? Are pens. The plural some is this pens. pens. Uh huh. Or some pens. Yes, some pens. Okay, thank you, Patricia. One example, please. One noun. Mm, dog, a dog. A dog. Mm -hmm. Okay, singular. Okay, what is the plural, Patricia? Do you know the plural? Uh, a dogs. Dogs. Only, only dogs. Uh, okay, dogs. You can say, you can say dogs. Repeat, dogs. Dog. You can say some dogs yes some dogs or you can specify three dogs three yes? dogs okay remember you have to know the singular and you have to know the plural thank you patricia um let's go with laura what do you have laura um church or church a church A church, singular, a. Ah. A church. A church. Thank you, thank you. Okay, um, Maria, do you have any example for us? Yes. Edith? Uh, sería, en singular, uh, sir. En plural, shirts. A shirt? Right? A shirt and plural shirts. Is that correct? Yes. It's correct, Maria. Good job. Good job. You got it. Okay, let's go with um let's go with who's this? Esmeralda? Do you have an example? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Can you please say one example um, of a noun? Okay, perfecto. Uh -huh. um, for a cat. A cat. A cat. Repeat a cat. What is the plural? What is the plural? Cats. 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 Muchos Cats. me incluyen, muchos me incluyen el a cuando van a dar el plural y acuérdense que a solo es para el singular. Si si a cat is singular, plural is cats. Sin la letra, okay? Okay. Good job. Okay. Good job. Good job. ¿Quién me falta? A ver, Ramón. Mm, uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm awesome. I'm awesome. Practicing my English with you. Practicing. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say one noun for us? 
announce a park. A park. A park. What is the plural? Uh, uh, parks. Correct. Parks. Good pronunciation, Ramon. Uh, look, look. Todos los que ustedes me han dado son, um, bueno, y regulares, ¿verdad? Son los comunes. For example, a computer. What is, what is the plural for a computer? Some computers. Computers. Or computer, computers. Correct, correct, correct. Some computers. Two computers, five computers. A car. What is the plural? Cars. <coughs> Cars. Cars. A house. Cars. What is the plural? Houses. Houses. A table. What is the plural? Tables. 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 You write the letter S and you pronounce the letter S. Bienvenido, Irving, Joel Moran, Gonzalez. Welcome to the class. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Welcome officially. Welcome officially. Ahí, listo para participar. Ahorita le vamos a comenzar a exigir. Thank oiga. you, thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> My pleasure. So, tables, right? And aquí, shoes, ya está en plural. Solo un zapato, ¿cómo sería? Shoes. Shoe. A shoes. A shoe. A shoe. A shoe. Check. A shoe. A shoe. Shoes. Yes. Aunque es común decir a pair. A pair of shoes. Repeat. A pair of shoes. A pair of shoes. A pair of. A pair of shoes. Correct. Glasses. <laughs> Socks. Socks is in plural. What is the singular of socks? Sock. A? Sock. A sock. sock. Correct. Gloves, it's already in plural. What is the singular? A glove. A glove. Oh, correct. Very well. And all of these, todos estos son regular uh, nouns. Eh, ¿Ustedes conocerán o se familiarizarían con los irregular nouns? Que hay unos eh, nouns que tienen su propio plural. A eso no les agregamos S, como a todos estos, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso por, se llama... Por ejemplo, people. Por ejemplo, person. Repeat, person. 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 Well, actually, the singular is a person. Yes? A person. A person. What is the plural? A person. People. Some people. persons. People. people. Yes? Yes. A woman. Mm -hmm. A ver, we have a chat. Correcto. Vamos a poner acá el de Mario. Mario dice el uh, irregular noun. Acá nos comparte es... Knife, a knife, solo que te falta ahí el, el artículo para hacerlo singular sería a, a knife, which, is, which means one. Acuérdense que en, en inglés es, ellos eh, no mucho dicen one knife, para el, para el uno más que todo es, usan el artículo a, ok. A knife, plural, knives, cuchillos. A ver este, a woman. Plural? Women. Women's. Women. 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 Man? Men. 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 Very good. Men. But but a man. A man. A child? Children. 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 Very good, nice. What else? Some. I'm sorry? 
Some. Some. Right. Some. Some like this, pero some es un quantifier. Tiene que some. ser un um, noun. A ver, Mario, ¿cuál dices? No, a mouse. A mouse, muy bien. A, a mouse. Mice. A mouse. It's the singular. In the plural, mice. Mice. Very well. So all of these are irregular. These are irregular nouns. You have to remember that they don't use letter S, right? They have their proper uh, plural forms, okay? So de todos los que hemos visto ahorita de los regulars y los irregular nouns, no hemos mencionado ningún... Eh, que sea um, como uncountable, incontable. En los incontables, más que todo, vienen los líquidos, right? Stuff like that, like similar, like, like food, for example. So estos serán irregular nouns. Ahora, let's check countable. Repeat, countable nouns. Countable, countable no. nouns. No. No. Todos los que ustedes me acaban de decir, por ejemplo, a student. A student. What is the plural for a student? Students. Students. Yes. All right. So yeah, I can count five students, three students, 20 students. Yes. A few students. A few students. Yes. Yes. Ok. Todos los que ustedes me dijeron eran countable, countable nouns. Ahora vamos a ver uncountable, uncountable nouns. Los que no se pueden contar. Examples. Sugar. Sugar, correct. Money. Money. Water. Water. Excellent. Milk. Milk. Good pronunciation. Coffee. Yes. With two sugar spoons, please. Especially right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee, tea, yes, definitely. Anything that is liquid, anything that is liquid. How about cheese? How about salt? Sand. I'm sorry? Sand. Sand. Sand, uh-huh. Yes, you can add sound. I'm sorry? Salad. Can you spell that? Salad. Can you spell it? Ensalada. Like, like salads. Salads. Okay, salads. Chicken. Breath, etc. right? So all of these... All of these you cannot count. These are uncountable nouns. So that's the difference between when you ask a question. Esto es para hacer um, una, una pregunta, okay? De cantidad. Sugar money. <laughs> okay. Uh, bueno, ¿cuánto cuesta? Siempre vamos a usar how much, how much. Ajá, para, para hablar de precios. Um, pero para hablar de cantidades, vamos a usar how many and how much. How many is for countable nouns. Ok. How many is for countable nouns. And how much is for uncountable, uncountable. Okay, try to remember that. 
Okay, going to move on. Let's go over our um, book. Let's go over our book. Here it is. Let me share my screen with you. Hmm. Hopefully it loads sooner or later. Ah, there it is. Okay, so let me confirm if you can visualize. You should be able to visualize my screen now. Can you see it? Yep. You can see it, correct? Yes. All right, awesome, awesome. So we have been practicing uh, simple present statements, okay? We will continue with simple present statements and we're going to continue now with third person, das, okay? For the third person, Dominic. And remember, on the third person verbs, we put letter S, types, sense. The traditional S. Yes for the third person. Not on the question, not on the question because on the question we use the auxiliary. So the verb must be normal, must be uh, on the base form. Correct. Repeat everybody, repeat, repeat. What does Dominic do? Repeat, what does Dominic do? What does Dominic do? Well, she's a secretary. Well, 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 she's a secretary. She's a secretary. She's, she's a secretary. secretary. Oh, I see. Um, what does she do every day exactly? What does every do exactly? What does she do every day exactly? Oh, do every day exactly? What does she do every day exactly? Exactly. Oh, I see your point. Oh, I see your oh, point. I see your point. Oh, point. I see your point. Well, well, well she well, types reports. She types, she types, reports. She types reports. She types reports. She and sends emails every day. And send and emails and every sends day. every day. I send, sends. you sent, but she sends, sends. 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 emails. Mm. I type a report. Repeat, I type a report. I type a, I type a report. You Type a report. Type. Repeat. You type a report. You type a report. But 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 he he, he types. He types. She types, types. a report. Types. My boss report. types types a report. I I type. I type. type. I type no S. Type. Very good, very good, very good. Yeah. Okay. Teacher, teacher. Yes. How do you say hard working in Spanish? Hard working is como bien trabajona. Trabajo duro. Trabajador, <laughs> trabajadora. Okay. And types? In Type Spanish? Es, es la, la acción que haces en la computadora con las teclas. Antes ah, okay, decíamos. Mecanografía, decíamos antes, ahora es como digital, ¿verdad? Ok, thank you. Es un término más técnico. My pleasure. Ok, so, repeat. She's a, she's a hardworking woman. She's a working She's a, she's a hardworking 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 Are you, are you a hardworking person? Are you guys, are you a hardworking person? 
Yes, I am. Yes, 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 I, am. yes I am. Repeat, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Of yes, course. I am. There are students here that get up very early, right, to go to work. So that's definitely hardworking. All right. Repeat, absolutely. Repeat, absolutely. Absolutely. What is the meaning of absolutely? Absolutely. What's the meaning? Absolutely. Es como... Absolutamente. Correcto. Indiscutiblemente. Correcto. Vamos a darles un, un, un sinónimo ahí. Indeed. Repeat. Indeed. 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 It's a sinónimo of absolutely. 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 What do you prefer to say? Absolutely or... Indeed. 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 Repeat, Come on. absolutely. Does she absolutely. arrive? Does she arrive early? Does she arrive? Arrive. Arrive. Does she arrive early? Arrive. 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 Early? Arrive. Early? Early? Arrive early. Early. Does she? Early. Does she? It's a just no question. Does she, does she arrive early? Arrive early. Does she arrive does early? She arrive early. Yeah. Does she arrive early. She's the first person to arrive early. in the office. Yeah. She's yeah. the first, she's person, the first to person to arrive in the, arrive in the office. In the office. Yeah, she's the first person to arrive in the office. Yeah, yeah. she's yeah. the first, she's person, the first to person, person to arrive in the office. the office. Good pronunciation, good pronunciation. Do you have any questions about this conversation? No? No, no. A ver, entonces sí, yo sí tengo preguntas. Identifiquemos los nouns. A ver, todos. Identifying the nouns. Tell me, brainstorm the nouns. Uh -huh. Dominic. Dominic. Dominic, yes. Dominic. Yes. A secretary, yes. Yes. Um, A woman. A woman, yes. <laughs> Person. A report. Person. Yes. A report. Puede ser. A report. Yeah. Good job. Hard Good working. job. Hard working. Um, well, hard working is actually an adjective. Okay. But good job. Good try. Good try. Okay. Um, let me see. How do you say in English? Uh, Digital. What? Type. 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 What is the third person? Types. Types. Repeat. Types. 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 Cerramos por la P. Type. Y después la S. Types. Types. Type. Type. Yeah. Type. Types. Vamos a ver conjugation. Hagamos un conjugation drill ahí con ese verbo. I type a report. Repeat. I, I type, type a report. A report. I, I type, type a report. I report. type a report. I type a report. I type a report. You? You? You type you? a report. You? you type a report. You type a report. You type the report. Maria types a report. Maria types. Maria types a report. He? He? Types a report. 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 He? Types a report
Types. A report. Types. A report. María Elena, Edith, Adilia, Karen, Elizabeth, and Mario Hernández. Type. A report. Type. Type. No es. No es. Es type. Sí, porque como son varios. Es type, porque están hablando de ellos. Correcto. Good job. Good job. Applauses for you. Bueno, entonces vamos a practicar acá. This, let's practice this conversation. Teacher Kalev is going to be Sonia and my students are going to play Matt's role. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Guys, what does Dominic do? Well, she is a psychiatrist. Oh, I see. And what does she do every day exactly? Oh, oh, oh I, I see, see your point. point. Well, well, she types and sends email every day. day. She is a hardworking hard woman. Hard woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive? Early? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So the, first the first person, person right. to arrive yeah. in the yeah. office. Nice pronunciation. I just caught little details. Like, for example, here. She sends and sends email oh, no. or emails. Emails. Sí, porque ella envía correos, o sea, son varios correos los que envían, no es solo uno en el día, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a decir emails con la S. Um, quiero, quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. No, pues de ahí todo estuvo bien. Sí, reports, sí me lo dijeron con S. So, let's make a switch. Let's make a switch. Now, teacher Kalev will interpret Matt's role and the students will interpret Sonia's role. Three, two, one, go. What does Dominique do? Well, she's a secretary. Oh, oh I, see. I see. What does, what does she, she do, do every day? Every exactly. day? Exactly. Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She's a hard working woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Does she arrive early? Yeah. She's the first person to arrive in the office. Guys, me gustó mucho cómo pronunciaron acá este adverb que es well para darle como elegancia a la idea que vamos a expresar. Usémoslo mucho, right? Well, well, it's very, it's very elegant. Okay, pongámoslo ahí en su vocabulary. So, we have some questions here. Okay, figure it out. Activity three. Let me see, Edwin, can you read the instructions here, please? Edwin Rodriguez. Select. Select the correct form of the verse to complete the sentence. Okay, the sentences, okay. Um, I'll let you think, one minute. I let you think in one minute and then we discuss, okay? I let you think in one minute and then we discuss. One minute. Okay, yes, dicen que está lloviendo muy fuerte ahorita en muchos lugares. 
y muchos están, están teniendo problemas. Ok. Ok. Ready, people? Do you have any idea now? Let me see. I have another yes. message. Ok, Ramón. Ok, Ramón. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Number one, what do you think? She, she types reports. reports. Is the second option, correct? Yes. She, she types. She types. Report. Report. Reports. Okay, good job. This is this is what? What is this? This is an affirmation? This is a negation? Or is a question? It's affirmation. It's an affirmation. Okay, very good. Number two. What's number two, guys? Does she Does write? She writes write late. Does she? Does. Does for the third person? Does she yes, that's arrive she. late? What's that? Affirmation, negation, or question? Question. It's a question. question. Okay, very good. And number mm -hmm. three, what's the what's the correct one? Does, Does she arrive? She arrives early. She arrives. Early. early. Arrives early? with S. No. Arrive. Arrive. Yeah. Yes. Without S. Oh Rise. yeah. But in este caso, it's gonna be arrive, okay? All right. Because this is not an affirmation. This is a question. Question. A question. Therefore, you're using the auxiliary. So if you're using the auxiliary, you have to use the base of the verb. Base for base verb. In the other way around, when it's an affirmation, you're not using an auxiliary. So you have to conjugate the verb. If you're talking about he, she, or it, the verbs got to be conjugated in third person. Peach? Yes. Correcto. Pero siempre y cuando sea una afirmación y usted esté hablando de una tercera persona, ya sea él, ella, o esto. Mm. Uh -huh. Thank you. Puede right. ser también solo un reporte, ¿verdad? O sea, que esté hablando solo un reporte. De una cosa, sí. Puede, uh -huh. Podría decir, she types a report. She types yes. a report. Yes, that's correct, my friend. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Aquí vamos a ver un poquito más de Thank eso. You. Esto, está, esto es la tercera persona, right? Third person, third person. Singular, a ver, third person singular, for example, he is third person. He types. Dominic, you puedo decir Carolina, right? Y estoy hablando de tercera persona. Entonces, aplica, si yo digo Carolina revisa, eh, ¿qué? Cualquier cosa voy a decir Carolina checks. Aquí lo importante es um, saber esta regla para las afirmaciones. ¿Por qué? Porque en las negativas, on the negatives, ¿qué vamos a usar? Vamos a usar los auxiliares don't, repeat, don't, don't. or don't. ¿Cuál era el otro? Does, does oh, not, does that. not, doesn't. Preferiblemente doesn't. usamos mm -hmm. las contracciones, ¿ok? Don't or it doesn't. doesn't. Va, entonces para las afirmativas. He checks. Ok. Dominic goes. It goes. likes. A ver. Yes. Vámonos con este. Vámonos con este. This one. I like this one. Simple present for third person singular. He checks, goes, or likes. A ver, one volunteer. Give me one example. Repeat the question, please. I'm asking for an example. For example, he checks his email every day. Repeat, guys. 
he checks his email every day. Every day. Email every day. It's correct? Oh, yes. Okay. He check. Okay. I check. You check. My but he checks. Yes. Give one example. Come on, give one example. My 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 example is Dominic goes at work. Dominic goes to work. Cuando uses el, el, el go o el goes, usualmente vas a usar la preposición to, porque to te da como que la dirección, dirección hacia dónde va ese verbo, right? Uh, so Dominic goes to work. Okay. okay, thank you. My pleasure. Okay, somebody else, somebody else. We're using checks, goes, and likes. Come on, talk to me. Practice your English. Hi. Go ahead, Maria. Dominic checks your cell phone. <gasps> My cell phone. <laughs> oh! Okay, puede ser, ¿verdad? Dominic checks your cell phone eh, every morning. <laughs> <laughs> que puede ir a revisar tu teléfono. Eh, ¿Se entiende ahí ese contexto? Y si no, podría ser su propio teléfono. En ese caso, her. Dominic checks her cell phone. Sure. Her o his. his. Depende porque si his. es his es para él, ¿verdad? Si es her es para his ella. Share. Dígame. Uh, Dominic, Dominic checks our reports. Dominic checks a report. Yes, Dominique checks a report. Yeah, she checks a report. Okay. What about what about it? Si you digo it likes, ¿de qué estoy hablando? ¿De qué se entiende que estoy hablando? De que le gusta alguna cosa. ¿A mí? Llevar... No. no. ¿A quién? A uh, ellos. No. A ellos. A uh, esto. Esto. Algún It's animal. singular. Correcto. It's singular. Acuérdense que esta es tercera persona. Sí. Acá. ¿eh? Singular. Como, esto. Como un animal. Me gusta no. esto. Esto, entonces asociémoslo con qué? Con un animal, con una mascota, eh, uh, con una cosa. Es la like una. Uh, una. Dog. Sí, porque si no, ya sería otro it's subject. It's like cat. It's like cat. Por ejemplo, si yo digo it likes, estoy hablando de que a mi perro, porque a mi perro lo, lo estoy sustituyendo con el subject it. Sí. Maybe it it likes to play with 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 a ball. It likes to play with a ball. With a ball. Yeah. Okay. It likes it likes to to eat a lot. It it likes to run in the park. Correct. It likes. It likes to sleep so much time. It likes. A él le gusta, pero estamos hablando de, de algo, de una mascota, etc. ¿Ok? Podr y podríamos decir, it likes to running in the park. It likes to run. Run. Sí. Ok. ¿Y qué pasa cuando son varios? Ya no son, ya no es un perrito. Yo no puedo usar it. ¿Qué pasa cuando son varios? It is. Voy a usar they. Ok. 
they es para plurals. Hey. Si, estoy, si son varios gatitos, si son varios perritos, right? They like. Okay. They run. They like. They eat. They go. With verb base. With the base verb. No S modification. Repeat. They check. They check. My co-workers go. My co-workers. My co-workers go. Co-workers. My co-workers. Compañeros. Compañeros. Todos. Muchos. It's a group of people. Por eso el verbo va normal. Go. The employees. The employees like payday. The employees like payday. <laughs> so, listen, we don't modify the verb right here. Can you give one example using plurals? Affirmation. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, come on. For example, they check the... ¿Cómo se dice? Planilla. Se dice payroll. Puedo decir, ellos revisan la planilla. They, they check the payroll every two weeks. Cada dos semanas. They check the payroll every two weeks. Ajá. Uh -huh. Give one example. Go they, ahead. They, they check uh, your account bank. Your bank account. Uh, your bank account. They check your bank account. <gasps> okay. My, my co-workers like to drink coffee every morning. <laughs> My co-workers like drinking coffee every morning, every morning. Yeah. Plurals, plurals, give one example. Come on, come on, come on. Podríamos utilizar drinking. Ahí, Ahí sí, sí porque utilizar lo puedes usar de complemento. Uh -huh. Like con like, sí. Ok. No more examples. Come on, give me a plural example, guys. My coworker go. To the beach. Oh, really? Nice. Nice. Thank you. The employees go on vacation in August. Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> Hey, we will have vacation, right? We will have vacation in August. So students, the students, plural, the students go on vacation in August. Plural example. No los oigo muy convencidos. Quisieron par más de Sí, es, es como una, es una affirmation, sí, es una afirmación. A ver, volunteers, do we have any examples? Esmeralda, you have an example? Okay. Tatiana, do you have an example? No? Patricia, do you have an example? No? 
Okay, I'm not able to understand clearly. Can you repeat, please? Employees check your mail every morning. Ah, vaya. Entonces ahí, como estamos hablando de quiénes, de ellos, vamos a usar el posesivo de ellos. ¿Cuántos saben el posesivo de ellos? Ellos. Correcto. Entonces te van a decir de employees. Me estresa esa S, porque es plural. De employees. Employees. Check. Their. Their emails, o sea, los correos electrónicos de ellos. Se escucha como que una interferencia por ahí. La lluvia, ¿eh? Será. Ok. Muy bien. So, the employees, the employees like, the employees like to celebrate birthdays. ¿Ah? <laughs> the employees like to celebrate birthdays at work. It's plural. It's plural. Okay. They, they go to the movies. On weekends. A ver, prepárenme una oración en plural, por favor. Prepare one, prepare one, prepare one, please. Prepare one example, plural examples. Estos solo son como eh, para ideas, ¿verdad? They pueden hacerlo con micro workers, pueden hacerlo con the employees, pero ustedes pueden hacerlo con qué? My friends, my neighbors, my coworkers. My boss, my bosses. Tiene que ser en plural. Plural example. Y sure. A ver. Ajá. The people go training. The people go, go on, on training. The people on training. go on training. Que se van a capacitación, ¿verdad? Yes. The people go on training next uh, Monday, for example. Estoy hablando de algo en el tiempo presente. Simple present. Okay. Um, solo que aquí ya estamos en plural. Ya no estoy hablando de él o de ella. Son varios. The people, the personal, the staff. Good job. A ver, somebody else. ¿Quién dijo yo? The employees Hi. like... Um, the employees like work... In home office. The employees like to work. Like to work. Like Vas a dividir work. ahí las, los dos verbos con la preposición to. T-O. Okay. Like to work. Very good. Eh, quiero ver. ¿Quién me tenía uno? Elena era. The employees go to vacation. The employees go on, go on vacation. Repeat, the employees, the employees go on vacation. Repeat. The employees go on vacation. Vacation. Ok. A ver, ¿quién más? ¿Quién más? Elena, usted sí me dijo el suyo. No. A ver, a ver, voy con Elenita que se quedó ahí pendiente. My work, work, co-workers like to dance eh, at night. Ah, at night. Yo pensé que at the office. Ok. No. <laughs> My co-workers like to dance, dance at night. Yes. Interesting. Good example. 
good example my co-workers like somebody else my soccer team play on sunday in the morning solo que ahí se escucha como que es singular my soccer team mi, mi equipo de fútbol puedes hablar de los de los jugadores sería my my teammates my teammates teammates ajá uh -huh. okay my teammates play on sunday in the morning very well because it's in plural very nice job guys thank you for the examples thank you for the interactions los demás pues tratemos de ir ahí compartiendo interactuando it's super important you practice bueno aquí tenemos simple present yes no questions Antes que nada, tenemos que saber muy bien que das. ¿Con quiénes usamos das? Con he, con she. she. And, and she. Bueno, aquí faltó it. Faltó it. it. Es correcto. Ajá. Entonces, el do, ¿con quién? Con you. Okay. I, 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 I. Y faltó I, I también, correcto. Um, ojo, en ambos, pues el verbo tiene que ir en su forma base, pues ambos son auxiliares. Third person. Does he check reports? Repeat. Does he check reports? Does he check reports? Possible answers. Yes, he does. Repeat. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Negative. No, he doesn't. Repeat, guys. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Okay, do you do you check report, Douglas? Do you check reports? Yes, I am. Yes, I do. Repeat, yes, yes I, I do. do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Entonces, ahora yo sí les puedo preguntar a ustedes, does Douglas check reports? Does Douglas check reports? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Sí. Afirmativo, ¿verdad? Esas solo son preguntas para confirmar información. Por eso se les llama yes, no questions. Does she check reports? Repeat, does she check reports? Afirmative. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Or negative. No. No, she, she doesn't. She doesn't. Okay. Very well. And the plurals. Do we? Do we check reports? Do you? Do you check reports? Do they check reports? So we're going to practice this one. We're going to practice this one. Si a mí me preguntan de un compañero usando tercera persona, obviamente, I don't know. Yo no sé. Entonces, tengo que averiguar. Right? Si la pregunta es para mí, do you? Do you? Ah, entonces yo puedo contestar. A ver, si la pregunta es do you, por ejemplo, for example, do you use a computer in your work? Yes, I do. Correcto. Yes, I do. Or no. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Okay. Pero si vengo yo y se la pongo difícil acá uh, a Stephanie, por ejemplo, y le digo, Stephanie, does Edwin drive a car at work? Um, no, no, sí. No, he doesn't. ¿En serio? No ¿Cómo sé. sabe? ¿Cómo no sabe? Sé si él, pero no sé si él lo hace. Es no sé serio. si él maneja. Es cierto, entonces ahí. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I don't know. I'm so I sorry. Know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Repeat. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I Vamos don't a preguntarle. Know. Vamos a preguntarle. Let me ask him. Vamos a preguntarle a él. 
Let me ask him. Let me ask. Vamos ask a preguntarle him. a ella. Let me ask her. Ok, pero como es un caballero ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces, let me ask him. Y let usted me se va. Excuse me. Uh, en el caso que sea Edwin. Excuse me, Edwin. Do you. Ya sería directa, ¿verdad? Directa para usted, usted y él. Do you. Do you use a computer? Do you drive a car? Do you speak English? Ok, porque ya es directa. Okay, usted averigua el dato y luego pues contesta a la pregunta en tercera persona. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Vamos a hacer una pequeña práctica aquí. All right. My question is for Julio. Can you hear me, Julio? Okay. My question is for you. Um, do you speak English at work? No, I don't speak English at work. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. Can you make a question, uh, Julio, for a classmate? Okay, um, Maria does the, um, Maria check the reports at work. Bueno, Maria estaría acá, ubicada acá, ¿verdad? En vez del subject, acá iría Maria, necesitarías el, el auxiliary. Does she check report at work? Correct. Does Maria check reports at work? Guys, does Maria Linares check reports at work? Yes, she does. En serio, ¿cómo sabe? Son, son class, ¿cómo se dice? Le, son coworkers. Le, le son coworkers. No, como a veces resulta que son coworkers, ¿verdad? <ríe> so, si desconocemos el dato, ¿qué hacemos? Excuse me, María. Don't you make the question. Yes. Ajá. Sí, uh -huh. only, only replace the she or he uh, for the name of the third person. Correct, correct, to make the question personalized. Yes, that is correct. Okay. So, excuse me, Maria, do you check a report at work? Yes, I check report in my job. All right, all right. Entonces, sí, mira, este Douglas tiene poderes así, special, special psycho powers. He knew it, le, le vio cara de que, de que revisa reportes, mis. <laughs> oh, I have a third person question. I have a third person question for the class. The question is about Mario. Listen, class. Does Mario wear a uniform at work? I don't know. Ah, Let this ask. one you don't know, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Let me ask him. Okay. Mario, excuse me, Mario. Excuse me, Mario. I, I don't use. Uniform. Wait, 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 Mario. Douglas has a question. Let Douglas ask you the question first. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Mario. Yo le hago una pregunta. Ahorita va Douglas te va a hacer la pregunta ya formalmente. 
Okay. ¿Cuál era la pregunta? <laughs> do you do you vestir? How do you say vestir, guys? Uh, wear. Do you wear a uniform wear. at work? Okay. Es, excuse me, Mario. Do you yeah. do you wear a uniform at work? No, I don't use uniform in my work. I don't wear. Wear, wear. I don't wear uniform in my work. Okay, thank you for the information. Okay, ready. So, class, does Douglas, I'm sorry, does Mario wear a uniform at work? No. I don't know. No. no, ya le preguntamos, pues. Dijo que no. La respuesta es no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Afirmativo, yes, he does. Yes, he doesn't. Negative, yes, he does. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Okay. I have a question for. I have a question for Laura. Can you hear me, Laura? Todos preparando preguntas con do y con das. Todos preparando sus preguntas. Laura Fuentes? Yes. Laura, does your boss drink coffee? She does. Does she drink coffee? Drink coffee. That's the question. That's my question. Does your Does your boss Does your boss drink coffee? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Repeat. Yes, he yes, does. Yes, he does. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Teacher. Go for it. I have a question for you. Okay. What is the difference uh, of let me ask him and let me ask her? Okay, let me ask him is para un caballero. Le voy a preguntar a él. Y let me ask her is para una dama. Le voy a preguntar a ella. Ok, thank you. Absolutely. Esto lo estamos usando, guys, porque vamos a hacer muchas entrevistas, ok? Y eh, tenemos que usar nuestra, nuestro idioma al más no poder en estas prácticas. Ok, I have a question. I have a question for the class. Does Rolando ride a bicycle? I don't, I know. don't know. <laughs> let, me, let me ask him. Aha, class. Go ahead and ask Rolando. Let me ask him. Okay. Excuse me. Say, say. Excuse me, Rolando. Excuse me, Rolando. Me, Rolando. Do you... Um, do you... Do you ride bike to your work? <laughs> Ajá, Rolando. ¿Qué significa ride? Estoy confundido ahorita. Montar o conducir. Como, uh -huh. Como conducir. Uh -huh. Yes, I ride my car, uh, my work. Ah, pero te confundiste ahí un era. poquito. Sí, porque. Vaya, expliquemos ahí esa diferencia antes que nada, porque ustedes conocen este verbo, drive. Drive is a car. D-R-I-V-E. Ajá, Douglas. Drive is a car. Ride drive is a motorcycle and bike. Va, oh, espérame. Entonces, dame más ejemplos acá con drive. Podemos decir drive a car. Drive a car. ¿Qué más? Drive. Uh, bus. 
drive a bus. Okay. ¿Qué más? Drive a... Maybe train. I don't know. Um, no, not really. Okay. Drive is vehicles. Drive is vehicles. Vehículos. Okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y oh. ride sin la sin la d. Solo ride, ride. ¿Se entiende la diferencia? Ride. Drive, ride. drive. Yes. Drive. Drive. Ride. 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 A ver todos. Drive. 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 Drive a car. Drive a taxi. Ride. Ride a motorcycle. Ride a motorcycle. A motorcycle. Ride a bicycle. Ride a horse. Entonces ahí está la diferencia, Rolando. El compañero te preguntaba, eh, do you ride a bicycle to work? Entonces era quizás negativa porque tú manejas tu vehículo, ¿verdad? Entonces era, no, I don't. No, I don't. Acuérdense que afirmativo, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Negative, no, I don't. No, I don't. I drive my car to work. Correct. Y ahí aplica dar esa información adicional, como Rolando. I drive my car to work. Good job, good job, good job. Okay, guys, vamos a movernos acá. Let's move on. Okay. Tenemos aquí un paragraph. Complete the paragraph with the words in the box. Make sure to write them in the correct form. Tenemos aquí call. Repeat call. 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 Have. 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 Check. 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 Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Work. Work. Go. Go. What is the third person? Call. What is the third person? Calls. 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 Have. What is the third person? Pass. Check. What is the third person? Check. 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 Wake up. What is the third person? Wake up. Wake up. Muy bien, Edwin. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Work. What is the third person? Works. 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 Pronouncing is what I say. And Works. go. What is the third person for go? Goes. 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 Repeat. Goes. Goes. Go. Vaya, el go lo van a usar tres veces. Completemos ahí, por favor, el paragraph usando estos verbos. Vean ahí cuándo es necesario usarlos en tercera persona. I'm going to give you some time. And then we compare. Okay. Go for it. Complete the paragraph. From one day.
How are you doing? How are you doing? ¿Cómo vamos? Finish. Finish. Yes. Awesome. 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 Bueno, entonces, let's check it out. Let's check it out. It says from Mondays. From Monday to Friday, estamos hablando de la rutina, ¿verdad? From Monday to Friday, Dominic. Goss. Goss. Wake, wake, wakes up. Wakes up. Wake up. En tercera persona, Miss. Wake A ver, up. conjugamos, conjugamos. Wake up, repeat, I wake up. I wake up. Repeat, I wake, I wake up. up. For example, I wake up I at, wake 6, up. at 6 a.m. I wake up at 6 a.m. I wake up at 6 a.m. Repeat, you wake up. You wake up. You wake up. You wake up. He wakes up. Wakes up. Wakes up. She wakes up. She wakes up. Dominic wakes up at 5 a.m. Wakes up at 5 a.m. Entonces, la tercera persona va en el verbo, no en la preposición. Aquí donde dice wake, ahí, wakes. wakes. Luego, wakes up. Wakes up. Wakes up. Wakes up. Dominic wakes up at 5 a.m. Continue. She, she goes. 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 A ver esa pronunciación. Pulamos she ahí. Goes. 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 Go. Goes. Goes. She goes to work. She goes to work and when she gets there and when she gets 
there, yeah. she checks, 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 checks. Correct. She checks, checks. 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 her, her, her email. email and call, call, and call. 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 call, 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 all the clients, all the clients in her daily list. Plural. Lisa and Claudia work work with work, work. work. Dominic. Dominic. No S, yeah. no S because it's plural. Lisa and Claudia work with Dominic. They have they go they go they go to they have, go to have lunch to have together. Lunch sí, porque together. el go querían que lo usáramos ahí tres veces, entonces ellas van a, a tomar su almuerzo. So they go to have lunch. They yes. go to have lunch together at 4 p.m. Dominic goes, goes, home. goes home. home. Dominic goes go home. home. All right. Very nice, nice job, people. Nice, nice job. Okay, vámonos aquí a time expressions. Time expressions. Es importante decir el tiempo, el marcador de tiempo al final de la estructura. Um, si estamos hablando de el simple present, las um, time expressions que podemos usar pueden ser every. Este every es bien común. Every day. Repeat, every day. Every day. Every day. For example, I check my email every day. I check my email every day. A ver, una actividad que hagan todos los días. A ver. Wake up. I wake I up every day. Every day. Okay, I take a get shower up. every day. Get I get up every day. I get up every early. Day. I get up early every day. Every day. Okay. I brush my teeth. I brush day. my teeth every day. Eso está bien. Um, I talk every day. Makeup. Makeup. I talk I every makeup. day. I put on. I put, put on, on makeup. 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 Yes. makeup. makeup. Yeah. I put I on know, makeup, makeup. Every day. I drink yeah. a coffee. Vas a decir, I drink a cup of coffee. I drink a cup of coffee. Una taza. I drink, I drink coffee. A cup. A cup coffee. A cup of coffee. A cup of coffee. Correct. Of coffee. Sí, porque es una taza de café. El café no es contable, entonces lo tenemos que hacer contable con el contenedor que es a cup, a cup of coffee. Una taza de café. A ver, every week, cada, cada semana. semana. Sí, hay actividades menos frecuentes que las hacemos quizás una vez a la semana. Por ejemplo, I go to the bank. I go to the bank every Week. Every week. Every week. Okay. Or every month. Repeat every month. Every month. A ver, every month. 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 Every month. Every month. Cada mes. mes. Okay. Or every year. 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 Every year. For example, my birthday. Your birthday is every year. So you can say, para ponerle el tiempo presente. Correcto. I celebrate my birthday every year. Cada año. Okay. Vaya, aquí. ¿Puedo decir every day o puedo decir daily? Repeat, daily. 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 Guys, yeah. estas time expressions usualmente van mm. al final de la oración, ¿verdad? Usted dice, I check my email daily. Yes? Daily, diariamente. Every week or weekly. 
Weekly. Weekly. Weekly. Weekly. Every month or monthly. 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 Bueno, estos son regular, regular activities, time expressions there. for regular activities. Yes. Uh, and yearly. Sí, también se puede. Yearly es como uh, anualmente, cada año, every year or yearly. Son dos formas diferentes, right? The time expressions. Okay. Bueno, let's check a little bit. Let me share the other presentation. Give me one second. Ah, quería que hicieran este, esta prueba de how many and how much. I'm going to send you a link. I'm going to send you a link and you can test. You can test your knowledge. Ahorita acá les pongo un link, guys. Váyanse a um, hacer esta prueba. Verifiquen ahí cómo están con el how many, cómo están con el how much. Acuérdense que el how many es solo para countable nouns y el how much es para uncountable nouns. Ok. Go ahead, take your time. Les voy a dar aquí un tiempo para que vayan a hacer esa prueba. Es de 15 um, items, 15 items. So do sure. your best, ¿sí? Please, many and... How many? Voy a mandarlo al WhatsApp. Claro que sí. Voy a mandarlo entonces. WhatsApp, sure. Sí, les dije que how many es para countables. Todos los que se pueden contar. Y how much es para uncountables. Los que no se pueden contar. Hmm. I buy bummies. One second, please. There you go. Okay, for the ones who need it on the WhatsApp chat, I just put it there on the WhatsApp chat so you can do it. Go ahead, go ahead.
Ano ka mga yung karo? Pero wala ka eh. Ano po? Ok, um, creo que Julio ya me mandó el score del primero. Puedes irte al otro um, quiz que es de las terceras personas. Estamos como que calibrando los dos, el de how much and how many y el de third person singular. Go ahead, los que ya terminaron. Gracias, Tatiana. Ok, Tatiana, thank you. Eh, para mí está muy bien. Thank you so much. Teacher, one question. Yes. Sería en um, more exercise. No, ahí ya no, ahí ya no, ahí ya te sales. Bueno, para tus prácticas sí, puedes decirte para tus prácticas personales, pero ahorita... Eh, si ya terminaste el primero, vete al, al otro link que es totalmente diferente. Creo que ah, ya lo puse okay. también en el, en el WhatsApp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ok. Teacher. Yes, sir. Eh, I am not added, added to the WhatsApp group. Oh, my God. Julio. Yes. Ok, Julio. Give me one second. Julio Caridad, right? Right. What is your phone number, Julio? Is seven H five three. Nine three two four. Okay, let me repeat it back. It's seven eight five three nine three nine four 
No, night three, night three. Okay, night three, two, four. Two, four, yes. Okay. You will be at it. Pero ahorita ya tenés acceso a los dos, a los dos links, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, thank you for your score, Laura. I appreciate it. It's a good score. I got it right here. Thank you. Los demás no me han mandado su score, chicos. I want to know. I want to know. Have you ever seen rain? Come on, come on, come on. Complete your exercises. Okay, Elena posted a picture. I like it. Let me see. <clears throat> it says. Ah, mis, pero usted me lo ha pasado español. Right? Es que cuando lo abran, les da la opción de pasarlo a inglés. Porque creo que ustedes tienen en español su teléfono. Entonces, tienen que darle el clic de inglés. me pasó. Porque igual ahí en español igual es cuánto, cuánto. Es lo mismo, pero en inglés es diferente. How many and how much. Quizás sí, me lo sí, volverá sí. a hacer. Así te pasó a ti. A mí eso me pasó que no me fijo que estaba en español. Entonces, solo en español respondía. Oh, no, 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 no. Pass it to English. Okay, Edwin. Okay, got it. No problem. Vamos a estar trabajando ahí con eso, Edwin. No worries para subirte tu nivel ahí. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Este, yo no estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp. Tampoco, Ramón. No. Qué pena, Ramón. Discúlpenos ahí, chicos. Vamos a ver. Oh, ya me enviaron varios. Thank you. Qué lento está esto. Vamos a ver. Please add Raymond Escoto. Escoto. What is your phone number, Mr. Raymond? Solo en español me lo pone, teacher. <laughs> Qué raro. No me deja hacerlo en inglés. Okay. Okay. Repeat, Ramon. It's uh, seven five. Uh huh. Uh, five nine forty three forty four. That's seven five five nine. 75, 59, 43, 44. 43, 44. Ok, ok. Ya he pedido a los dos que nos los ingresen al grupo. Entonces no pudieron hacerlo, pues, en inglés. Tienen que ir pasando esos teléfonos a inglés, guys. Right? <laughs> Vamos a ver acá qué más tenemos. Oh, yes. Aquí tengo el de Mario. Nice job. Nice job. Let me see. Is this? Okay, Maria Elena. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, nice. Okay, váyanse al de, al de la third person, que ya nos queda poco tiempo. El de las terceras personas. Ese me interesa también. Y sure. Ajá, uh -huh. Irving, Irving. I am not the group, the WhatsApp. You're not in the WhatsApp group. Oh my goodness. Hemos fallado, chicos. Hemos fallado. Esmeralda. Okay, I got it, Esmeralda. Nice job. Thank you. Okay. Welcome. Irvin. Irvin Moran. Okay, Irvin, what is your cell phone number, please? 
Okay. Seven four. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, excuse me. Seven six. Okay, seven six. Zero four. Yes. Zero. Zero four. Zero four. Okay. You're missing two digits. I have seven six seven four zero four. Nine four. Ninety four. Seven five, six seven four. Oh, repeat, repeat. Five. Okay, okay. Seven six. Uh -huh. Zero four. Uh huh. Es el link que mandé ahí en el chat, creo que solo le da ya se ingresa a Pichu. Okay. Vayamos a verificar. El link que acabo de mandar en, en Teams. 94557. 94557. Ok, creo que sí lo tengo. Seven six zero four nine four five seven five seven yes okay you will be at it my friend no problem quizás no ahora pero mañana sí thank you Edwin I see your score aquí me lo han puesto también los demás guys it's a nice job what you have been doing thank you Rolando nice Rolando Arias Patricia, that's very high. All right, all right, all right. Y del otro? Son dos. Ah, vaya, aquí el Douglas les mandó un link. Si quieren intentarlo también desde acá. Solo presionan el link y lo redirecciona para ahí, para el WhatsApp. Y al mismo tiempo lo agrega. Awesome, awesome. Que pueden ahí. A ver, Esmeralda. Brush. Ay. Brush. Del primero ya se lo mandé, pero cae en su. Ok, ok, ok. Sí, aquí está. Thank you so much. I got it. Got it. Y ahí está Karen también, 80%. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Outstanding job. Ok, Esmeralda, ¿qué hemos aprendido este día, Esmeralda? ¿Está por ahí? Miss Esmeralda Amaya. Aquí estoy, teacher. Ajá, Esmeralda, ¿qué hemos aprendido esta noche? Um, del DAS. Practicamos el DUI, el DAS. El dual das, eh, how much, how many. Lo de los nouns, lo manejaba usted, lo de los nouns. Countable and, uh, and uncountable. Countable and uncountable. It's a little tricky, it's a little confusing. Yes. Lo que podemos hacer eh, a manera de práctica es que pueden preparar una pregunta con how many y una pregunta con how much para sí, sí. practicar mañana. Dígame. Sorry, I have a, a question. Yes, Julio. Because the city is many and many, how many? Para cities? Yes. How many? Sí, porque cities is countable. Son contables las ciudades. Cities are countable. Very low, dice Julio. Espérate, ¿cuánto te salió? 56. 56. ¿En el primero? En el segundo. Ah, en el segundo, en el segundo. Sí, sí. En el segundo es que vamos a requerir quizás un poquito más de práctica. Right. 
So that's it. That's it. Creo que los demás me van a quedar un poquito pendientes. Los que no me lo han enviado. Pero me lo pueden enviar en el transcurso. So no problem. Y vamos a escuchar entonces a alguien más. Laura. Laura Fuentes. What's up, Laura? ¿Qué aprendimos este día, Laura? Ouch. Eh, no contable. Contable. Countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Ajá. Yes. Ah. Does do um many and much practice. We practice we practice many and we practice much. A ver, para mañana traten de tenerme una preguntita con how many y una preguntita con how much. Con how many, usualmente usamos el do. Por ejemplo, how many, how many pupusas do you eat? Ajá, guys, how many pupusas do you eat? Seven. Oh. <laughs> how, how, many, how much is a shirt? ¿Cuántas pupusas? Perdón, miss, how much me dijo? How much is a shirt? Ah, vaya, ahí estamos hablando de precio. How much is the t-shirt? Sí, se puede usar para hablar de, de money, pero en este caso quiero que me lo use um, hablando de uncountable nouns. Búsqueme un uncountable noun como, como water. How much water? Coffee, tea. Ajá, how much coffee do you drink every day? How much coffee? Ajá. Uh -huh. How much sugar? How much ice cream? El ice cream no es contable, so podemos usar how much con non-countable nouns. Como les digo, preparen una pregunta para mañana para hacer a uh, manera de práctica arrancar mañana con esa conversation. Ok, guys. You have any questions so far? Any comment? Any question? Bueno, desde mañana eh, vamos a comenzar con los coachings. Les voy a estar haciendo una, un examen, right? An oral evaluation, uno por uno, ¿verdad? En orden de lista. Entonces vamos a terminar con esa asistencia. Para confirmarles, el día de mañana iniciaremos con... Let me see, let me see, let me see. En orden de lista tengo acá a Alex Enoch. Tú te quedarías el día de mañana 10 minutos después de la sesión. Ok, sir. I hope that's not a problem. So vamos a terminar con la asistencia. Alex Enoch Ramírez Salazar. Are you in the class? Alicia Esmeralda Romero. Carolina Stephanie Hernández Romero. Present teacher. Perfect. Carolina, ¿verdad? Yes. Douglas Humberto Sánchez Díaz. I am here. Ok, perfect. Edgar Rolando Arias Rivas. Present teacher. Edith Adilia Hernández Chacón. Edwin Alexis Rodríguez Cortés. Present. Esmeralda Present Abigail Santos Amaya. Present teacher. Irvin Joel Morán González. Present teacher. See you tomorrow. Right. See you tomorrow. Good night. Josué Edgardo. No, Josué Eduardo Gutiérrez Salguero. 
Julio César Caridad Valiente. Present. Karen Elizabeth Ramos Aguilar. Present. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez. Present. María Elena Linares Díaz. Present. Mario Alberto Hernández Vázquez. Mónica Marisela Martínez Pineda. Está acá con nosotros, sí. Platicia Beatriz Bonilla López. Present teacher. All right. Ramón Antonio Escoto Abarca. Present teacher. Roberto Antonio Ramírez González. Y Tatiana Vanessa Escobar Ortiz. Present teacher. Guys, thank you for your attendance. Good job. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Sweet dreams, everyone. Goodbye. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everybody.